dead London. Geronimo! Hello and welcome to yet another Doctor Who audio review. In this audio review I should be looking at the Series 2 opener of Lucy Miller or 8th Doctor Adventures, whatever you want to call it. Um, dead London. Um, so yeah, before I actually uh, look, well go into my thoughts on this story, I will be looking at the cover, then the booklet, then the disc and then my thoughts on the story. So yeah, let's get cracking. Okay, so on the cover itself we have the Doctor Who logo, uh, starring Paul McGann and Sheridan Smith in Dead London by Pat Mills. Then we have a picture of the Ape Doctor in Vortex and of the cast members. Then we have the Ape Doctor, uh, Wicker Man and Lucy. And down below we have pictures of London from various time zones. Forecast audio drama, classic Doctor's brand new adventures and we have the audio adventures of Doctor Who. On the side we have a picture of the Ape Doctor Dead London 2.1 because it is the series 2 opener as I've said. On the back we have more cast members and we have what these stories are about and we have a quote at the top there so feel free to have a read of that if you want to know more about the story. The total running time for this story is 15 minutes. So that's basically the cover, now let's go and look at the booklet and the disc. Okay so here's the booklet so if we open it up we have a some writer's notes from Pat Mills and we have pictures of the cast members. Um, as you can see, that bloke there you may recognise from the Christopher Eccleston uh, Slovene uh, two-parter. He played the military person, I believe. Then we have uh, direct director notes by Barnaby Edwards. Then we have some concept art there, which is rather nice. Let me see that. Um, yeah, they're using the sort of new series TARDIS, which is a bit odd. And so they're using the Paul McGann one. Then we have the next episode, which is Max Warp, which I believe is a Top Gear styled um, audio. I don't own it, so I don't really know about it. And there's a bit of text about that, so if you want to know more about Max Warp. Then we have credits, and then we have about advertisement for Doctor Who magazine, as you can see. It is a time crash one, which is quite interesting. And on the back, we have a bit of character bio on Lucy Miller and the Ape Doctor. So yeah, that's the booklet. Now let's look at the disc. So the disc is sort of a purple colour, if I can open it up. There we are. You can see, uh, Dead London. Um, most Lucy Miller adventures are two-parters, but this is a 50 minute one. Um, so if I just remove the disc, we have advertisements for other audios in the 8th Doctor collection. So yeah. That's been the disc and the booklet. Now let's go into my overall thoughts on okay, this. Okay, so what are my thoughts on Dead London? Dead London is a fantastic opening to the series. It's rather odd. Well, the ending sort of has a really weird twist, and it really makes you think. Um, the story is reminds me very much of the War Games in the way that the story is sort of divided up in time zones. You know, well, London is divided in time zones, so Tudor, Roman and 1940s sort of London. Now the story also has humour but it's very minute, the major bit of humour is probably at the opening before the actual title sequence which is quite a good little um, bit to lead into the opening uh, title sequence, it's very good. Okay so my final thoughts is the story, it's a strong opening. Um, the performances are brilliant, the strongest performance has to be a Rupert, I'm not even going to pronounce his surname, but he was the person who uh, who, stuck, who did the Slovene two-parter, um, who played the military person. Um, the story, and to be honest, most of the guest cast, they are really good, they're all pretty strong. Um, yeah, this story, I have to say, is a dark horse in the Lucy Miller adventure. I think it gets overshadowed by stories like Blood of the Daleks, Human Resources to the Death. Um, stories like that, really. What it sort of, sort of gets overshadowed by. Um, so, yeah. The story has a great concept. With every time zone, there are thrills and perils for the Doctor and Lucy to overcome. Um, yeah, it's a really action-packed story. The story's really easy to visualise, which is fantastic, um, because it makes you as a listener make the story a lot easier for you. Um, it's such a brilliant script. It's just really good. I really did enjoy it, and yeah, I would recommend it to people who like historical stories and are a fan of the Eighth Doctor and Lucy Muller. Um, yeah, so this has been my review of Dead London. 
Uh, my next review is the Enemy of the World, which is going to be really nice to review to, uh, to review a lost and now found story. Um, so yeah, this will be my review of Dead London. Um, leave a like, comment, rate, and subscribe, and all that jazzy stuff. And uh, leave a like on my Facebook page to get some thoughts on Doctor Who stuff and some little previews of upcoming videos. So yeah, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the enemy of the world.